Hello, David. <laughs> hey. Um, we're going to do another episode of our car tour, and today is the kitchen, which is in here. Start with the fridge. So, it's a Bushman's. 85 litre. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yep. That a has, freezer. Yeah, it has a little freezer, which we usually have frozen veg or maybe an ice cream every now and then. But this thing's pretty good, eh? It suits us really well. It's obviously easy to access when we're here. Mm -hmm. And it fits more than enough food. We usually only buy like, what, three, three nights at a time? Yeah. And we still have heaps of space. So, it's pretty good. I wouldn't have a chest one on the way that we do it. No. Chest freezer or chest fridge just wouldn't work that well. This Bushman's fridge does apparently 1.5 amps per hour. But I think it's pretty economic. I think it does less. I've had it running for four days while not driving the car and had no solar and it didn't turn off. So I assume it only does 1.5 when it's actually cycling. It has its on and off days, but it's, it's very economic if I was to say so. Obviously we have all our storage. So we just keep food. This is like coffee stuff. Um, there's like cutlery and food in there as well. It's nothing too exciting, but it all fits. And then up here we just have cups. Cups and like the gas cylinders and stuff. So they all have their so own So we place. literally just bought like, these are from what, like Big Dub, Kmart. Yeah, I think these are only like 20 bucks a pop or something. Yeah. And then we just got these little um, fly screen swivels from Bunnings. It was like $2 for 20. And then we just made these. So, so they don't come out when yeah. you drive. Because when you drive, if you do leave them open, they do, they do come out. They can't really go too far because obviously the door's there, but um, they work pretty good. And then in here we have, I don't really see, but usually keep sauces. Hard to see in the back, but we just keep like the billy can, um, some cereal, got the fire extinguisher. And then just other random stuff in here. Oh, and our lighter. Which, on Velcro. So when we're setting up, this is our little invention. Well, it wasn't our invention. I saw it on Facebook. So it just uses the um, jack off canopy points for our table. Which I have here, just from Bunnings. But unfortunately, so we just got angle, it just sits obviously on that other angle, um, that boxed angle. But after it sat in the car for a month while we're working, it's um, warped, so it doesn't actually fit very well anymore. It used to just, used to slide on really easy, but now we have to... Give it some of, muscle. Yeah, give it some muscle. Which is not really on there, but yeah, it works. But it used to sit there perfectly. Mm. So that's our little space, and then in here, that's all we cook with. What is it? Coleman Fire Night. Gladiator, Gladiator series. Fire Night series. And we got this just off marketplace, but it's pretty. How much is it? Like fifty oh, bucks. Like fifty bucks. Yeah. But it's so good. It doesn't. It literally doesn't go out. So this is all we do for the setup. We've got our gas container back here. It's just clipped in. And, um, yeah, obviously just run that to run the gas. And that is our setup. So you can see that flame. It's kind of hard to see without this pan. But this fire night burns so hot. The only downside about it is that it's actually quite hard to get it on a really low setting. It can be done. It just takes a little bit of time. But if you're boiling rice or something like that where you just want to simmer, it just takes a little bit more effort. But other than that, it's it's nuts. It's awesome for cooking meat and stuff like that. 
because it gets so hot. And like I said before, it doesn't it doesn't go out. Oh, we also got Melissa's stool. <laughs> this is the most important bit. So, Melissa can actually reach. Perfect. <laughs> So this is our cooking equipment, this is all we have, so we just got from those fry pans, pretty good. Just one of these pop-up saucepans, see, I think these are, I can't remember what brand all these are, but they were just from a they were just from camping tent, store, tent world, I think. Yeah. and they were, they didn't cost much, they were like 30 bucks each or something, yeah. um, it's a little cutting board, a little wood, it's actually a lid, but it works perfect for yeah. everything, doesn't it? And then just a wash up, same thing, it just pops up. But that all fits in that that container, so it actually works really well. And then we have two bowls, two plates, two knives and forks, just two of, two of everything basically. Um, and that is pretty much our kitchen. It works really well for what it is. Yep. Can't complain. And it was all obviously apart from the fridge, which I think was fourteen hundred bucks. Everything else cost us maybe four hundred. Maybe four, yeah. Yeah, four hundred bucks for everything here. Like all the setup, pots and pans. Or maybe five hundred. We'll say five hundred, but it's pretty good for everything. Right. And See that's you it. Bye. <laughs>